In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to adjust your backlight settings on the Garmin Instinct 2X Solar Watch. You can also follow this video if you've got the Instinct 1 or Instinct 2. It's going to be the exact same steps. The only difference is if you have the 2 or the 2X, not only can you do the settings on your watch, but you could also do them on your cell phone. It's also easier to do it on the cell phone, I think, versus the watch. So let's go ahead and let's jump into it. We're going to start by pressing and holding the middle button on the left-hand side. That's going to be our menu button. When you hold it down, it'll take you into your menu. Now you can use the up or down button. I'm going to simply use the up button because what we need to get to is system, which is at the bottom of our list. So pressing up takes you directly to your bottom. We're going to press the GPS button, which is also going to act as our select button. That will take us into our system settings. Then we're going to go down to backlight, and again, we're going to press GPS. Under your backlight settings, you have a couple different categories. They're kind of going to be the same thing. One of them is how do you want the backlight to act when you're in an activity? So if I'm out doing a hiking activity or a jogging activity or boating, whatever it is, what are my backlight settings going to be? I'm going to go ahead and press GPS. Let's go into during an activity. First thing you're going to notice is your brightness. You can adjust how bright is it that the backlight's going to turn on again when you're in an activity. I like setting my brightness as low as possible. I find it still easy to read. The brighter your backlight is, the more, more battery life it's going to use. The more times your backlight comes on, the more battery life it's going to use. I tend to try and preserve as much battery as possible. I don't need it super bright. So I'm going to set it at 5%. You can go through, you can't see it with my backlight, but every time you land on a different value, it will show you on the watch how bright that is. I'll press the GPS button to choose my brightness. I've set mine to 5%. When I press buttons again, while I'm in an activity, does the backlight turn on or not? You could set it to off, meaning it'll never turn the backlight on. On would mean where every time I press a button, it will turn it on or only after sunset. This is a really cool feature where the buttons will activate the backlight, but only if it's after sunset for the given day. I like using that option. Alerts, anytime I get an alert on my watch, does the backlight turn on? Yes, or on, off, or again, after sunset. Wrist gesture, if I tilt the watch towards me, does the backlight turn on? Again, on, off, or after sunset and then the timeout when my backlight turns on how long does it take before it goes off you can set this to no timeout which I would not recommend unless you're just looking to burn your battery down one minute 30 seconds 15 seconds 8 seconds or 4 seconds is the minimum and I'm going to set that at four seconds. It's kind of interesting because most of your Casio watches, the maximum backlight duration is three seconds. On the Garmin watches, the minimum is four seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and press back. I've successfully adjusted my backlight settings for when I'm in an activity. The next thing we need to look at is general use. General use is going to be anytime you're not in an activity and it's not during your sleeping time. Again, I'm going to press GPS to go into general use. We're going to look at the exact same settings we just looked at before, but this time it's for when you're not in an activity. Again, I can adjust my brightness. I can adjust my keys. I can adjust alerts. Wrist gesture. And then timeout. And they are the exact same as what we saw previously. So now I've adjusted my uh, backlight configuration for when I'm not in an activity and not during sleep. The last one we need to look at is during sleep. So during my sleep times that I have set up in my Garmin Connect profile, what happens? Again, we've got brightness. We've also got keys. I tend to turn keys off uh, just because if you're planning on sleeping with the watch, I wanna make sure that me accidentally moving around hitting any keys isn't gonna turn on the backlight. And then again, you've got your timeout option. Pretty simple stuff. Those are your different backlight configuration options on the Garmin Instinct 2X. Once you're done, you can simply press the back button a couple times, get you back to your main watch face.